like I said, I wanted the truth to be out here and the facts to be out. And it's difficult. It's difficult to talk about this um, from two fronts. Not only uh, myself, but also, excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, you know, as I was saying, it's definitely difficult for me to talk about this issue, not only for myself, but also um, from the victim's family. I didn't want to dredge up, you know, old memories. That's why I wanted to get the facts out there so that the voters of Rhode Island know what the facts are and that they can make an informed decision and understand that this is, you know, a part of me, a part of who I am, part of also why I've kind of dedicated myself to, you know, helping people and being in public service. And at some point, I lost consciousness and the vehicle from what I uh, read on the paper veered into the individual, Mr. Skipper, who was changing his tire on the side of the road. I remember the crash um, kind of woke, woke me back up and you know, I stopped the car, got out, and I remember seeing him lying, lying there, and I was just in shock of what happened. Ultimately, the rescue uh, state police came, and um, I remember the state uh, state trooper putting me um, in the front seat of his vehicle. Um, at some point in time, I was um, taken to the state police barracks in Lincoln, and. One of the things that came back that I just remembered was as we were driving on 95, um, you know, came over the radio, the person had died, and it just broke down. So ultimately, um, I was charged with driving in danger, death resulting, and um, uh, I was released um, by a bail commissioner um, that, that evening. And, um, you know, uh, I went and um, I was recommended to a criminal uh, defense lawyer by my, par my parents, my dad, my mom's um, lawyer for the restaurant who didn't handle criminal matters. He recommended a criminal defense attorney I went to. And I never had to go to court after that. It was um, what I remember him telling me was that it went before grand jury and the case was ultimately dismissed after that. So it's something that I've um, talked about, nothing that I've hidden, but certainly something that's been deeply painful, not something that I offer you know, right off the bat. The family and friends that knew me back then obviously knew, mm -hmm. um, and uh, anyone that has asked, um, about any arrest, I've always, you know, been forthcoming about that. Like I kind of disclosed, you know, I felt it was important to, you know, get the fact facts out there, and get the truth out there, so that the voters can decide. And if anyone else had heard about it, they, you know, can make an informed decision about that day and also how it impacts impacted myself and the family. Um, it's something that's also a part of me, of who I am and why I've made a lot of decisions that I have. I was just a college student at the time. Mm -hmm. I thought once it was dismissed, it was dismissed. But um, after my first year of law school, um, I did an internship at the State Department of Corrections. And I remember um, at that time they ran a BCI check and the general counsel uh, brought me in one day and just you know showed me this, like explain what's going on, what's this? So that's what I remember happening. And after I explained, just like I'm explaining today, like what happened, you know, they felt really bad. Um, recommended that it, uh, a lawyer help me get expunged because the case was dismissed. It shouldn't just sit out there. Um, so you know, I think that experience of what happened, and God knows why, you know, my life was spared that day, and someone else's life was taken. Um, you know, I've always you know, been someone who empathized with a lot of people and try to help people out. And I think that experience uh, is something that will always be part of me and why 
you know, I am in public service to try to help others. You think your campaign's still viable now, in the light now that this is out? Yeah, thanks. And this Everyone. is going to be, you know, for the voters to make a uh, decision, and that's why I want the truth out there. All right, so thank, thank you, everybody. Thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks. Thank, thank you. you. Good luck.